Hi guys, in today's video I would like to take you for a journey to one of the European libraries. This library has over 23,500 old maps, covering all over the world, but focusing mainly on Northern Europe. On this channel I'm posting regularly videos about public domain works, how to find free out of copyright images, where to sell them, and how to edit these works. So if you are selling on any of the print on demand sites like Redbubble, Merge by Amazon, or maybe you create non and low content books and sell these on Amazon KDP, or you are selling physical prints on Etsy, eBay, Amazon or your site, or simply you are fascinated by the vintage materials stored in library archives all over the world, then this channel is right for you. Like, share and comment, any of these will go a long way and they will please YouTube gods and help me immensely. And if you don't want to miss another video, then subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified when I post new content. Make sure to check my Gumroad store, I post there mainly free supporting files for the videos, like list of various sites. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get to the site. We will visit today the National Library of Denmark, the Royal Library. The library collections are very extensive, in this video I will focus on their map collection, which is just a fraction of the whole library collection. Direct link to the site, along with the links to the maps from this video are in the description below. So first things first, if you get to the site and you see that the site is in its original language and it happens that you are browsing web in Chrome, just right click, choose translate to English and that's you. Bear in mind that not everything will be translated and also once you go back to the home page or click on the next site, the language will default back to Danish so you will have to click again on the right click and change it to English every single time. One other thing, I would recommend to open a new tab in your browser with Google Translator set to Danish English or Danish and your language if you're not English native speaker. It helps to polish the details which are not translated by Chrome. As good as the job the tool does, it doesn't really cover 100%. So I would recommend to, to have it open. So we are in the digital collections under map and atlas and here we have high score of 23,520 maps. What I'm usually doing by default if provided with this option, I'm increasing the amount of results on page. Let's get familiar with the filters and choose a couple of them. As you see each time I am clicking on a new filter, the language defaults back to Danish. I will open a few maps and we will have a closer look at them and the download process. After that we will check other filters too. So right on the first page let's scroll down and choose a couple of maps. I'll open that one. So mine too translated to English, as you see everything is in Danish in here. Hover over the map and using your scroll you can zoom in or out. Alternatively we have a set of controls just above the map image. There is a reset button which resets the view. Once you zoom in you can just press it here and it goes back to the default. There is zoom out zoom in, you can rotate the image counterclockwise, you can rotate the image clockwise, there's a mirror option and you can toggle the full screen. And the last one which interests us the most is the download button. Let's click on the download and new window will open. And here right click, save image as and that's you. To the right we have metadata and here we can check the copyright status which says that the material is free of copyright. What I've noticed when I was preparing this video that Chrome sometimes translates this field and sometimes don't. Hence the tab with Danish to English translation open is useful. So sometimes it even after you know going translate to English it won't translate this field. So I just wanted to show you a few maps which I found in here. This is a PT that we have to actually translate it. It doesn't do automatically, but it's just, it's not really a big problem. Uh, I would recommend to do that in order to check this statement every single time. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes just a few seconds, a second or two, and you're certain that at least in Denmark this map is free of copyright. Whether it is free in your country, you need to verify it yourself. You need to check the rights in your country because it's like with American libraries, whatever is out of copyright there, it might still be in copyright in your country, wherever you are. So if you are based in States and we covering the US libraries, 
then you're good to go if you find something which says material is free of copyright or is in public domain and you can do whatever. But if you are outside of US or like in this case, we are out, uh, I'm outside of Denmark and probably you too, you need to verify it yourself whether you can use this for commercial purpose. I would say yes, but please don't quote me on that because I'm not an attorney and these videos are just for the entertainment and just to show you what you can find online. So I cannot really say whether you can use it or not. This is entirely up to you to verify it. Let's check that one as well. Um, this is a world map in Latin drone app in Germany in 1746. So let's go down to the bottom of the metadata. I'm just going to translate it to English. And as you can see, uh, this is a part of um, an atlas with 60 volumes. So thankfully, there is a hyperlink that we can check. And I'm just going to click the, the, the hyperlink. And we have a lot more similar maps. And to the left in the filters, we can check all of the 65 volumes. So if you go right down to the first one, you can see what's inside each of the volumes. Right, there is like uh, six volumes of French maps, three volumes of Belgium, six volumes of Italy, or even seven of wow, Germans. Well, as you can see, there are so many beautiful maps here that I am starting to regret sharing this resource. Uh, okay, jokes aside, uh, let's get back to the main results page and apply some filters. So under map and atlas, let's click map, then, then world, then Europe, so this is very unfortunate. Every single time the page refreshes, it defaults back to Danish. So we just need to remember to right click and translate to English. And here we have many European countries. I will choose Spain. Um, and here we go, there are 280 maps. So I have found that one. And this is a fairly large map, nearly 96 by 86 inches. I would say that majority of them, they are like that especially if you go with the atlases. Yeah, the material is free of copyright. It's Atlas Major, Volume 60 as well. Let's check a different category under a map. Let's go to the universe. And here we have 188 maps related to universe, zodiac signs, stars, planets. Very interesting and beautiful works. I will open a few. Just, just look at these maps. They are so beautiful. Great to add as book covers mouse maps and I've seen old maps being printed on storage boxes so surely there are print-on-demand companies that are targeting this type of products they all require a bit of editing so you need to bear that in mind guys I have showed you about 13 15 different maps out of over 23 and a half thousand majority of these are in high resolution big sizes and worth it to turn them into new products give them a new life you can download the free pdf with all the links to the maps shown in this video link to the download is down in the description below guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video